Yo, what's going on, YouTube family? It's me again, your boy Blood Raw. I see different back at y'all with another quick informative video. Remember to make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Oh, yeah, make sure you post notifications on so you will be alerted every time I continue to drop that. Uh, throw ice on my YouTube channel, baby. Let's go. First off, let me take time to acknowledge all the new subscribers. I appreciate the love and support. And like I said, this is our channel. Me Casa is Su Casa. So if you want me to drop a video pertaining to any topic of discussion on by information you want to know more in depth on, just drop a comment down in the comment section or shoot me an email. All the information is in the description. Let's go. This video here, man, I had to do it about that boy, Donald Trump. Yeah, man, let me go on and just get straight into the information, bro, because shit is getting real out here in society. I'm pretty sure everyone is aware, which is being shown on all media outlets across America, how they raided the Mar-a-Lago home of Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't let his lawyers be present while they did the search. And they basically tried to say they cut off his security feed because he has a security feed that watches and monitors everything inside his home and on the outside of his home. And also, let's take in consideration that they stayed there eight hours raiding his home. They say they broke into his safe, got the documents that he's he supposed to not have had. Also, they went through his wife's lingerie collection catalog, which I don't understand what the fuck they was doing searching through that lady's lingerie collection, which that's some perverted shit there. Whoever those agents were, just going through her lingerie, her undergarments like they were, that's some pedophilia shit. But anyway, now they are saying and showing all across the news outlets that Donald Trump indictment is enemy. Basically saying they finna get ready to lock his ass up. What y'all got to understand, this is the calm before the storm. Basically, they finna give you the problem and give you the solution at the same time. They basically finna get ready to start a civil war, bro, a revolution. I'm telling you, they already saying and feeling like dealing with the January 6th Capitol riot thing, which they blamed on Donald Trump. Now they are saying that everyone that supports Donald Trump, if they indict Donald Trump, 50 to 60 million Americans is going to take to the streets and cause civil unrest, meaning burning down businesses, just wreaking uncivil rest on society, bro. You got to think about this shit. So me sitting back as an individual with my own mentality and my own way of thinking, what individual in their right mind is going to risk their freedom, meaning going out there protesting? Now, ain't nothing wrong with protesting as long as it's a peaceful protest. But what individual in their right mind is willing to put up their freedom, let, yet alone their life, for a man, meaning Donald Trump, that hasn't did shit for them, bro. Not even gave them five dollars, bro. I'm talking. I don't even know them by name. Don't even know they even fucking exist. So you mean to tell me? I was sitting back thinking last night. I was gonna drop this video last night about this Mar-a-Lago situation. Them raiding Donald Trump's home, and now that's being plastered all over social media outlets. Donald Trump's arrest is intimate. Basically, like they finna lock his ass up. They got enough information to prosecute him and bring him upon treason charges. All type of shit, bro. And you got to sit back and think. So if they able to do this and implement this on a former president, what the fuck do you think they can do to the small man like us living out here in society? And with me, I'm being skeptical on this shit because Donald Trump is all in cahoots with all the powers that be. Like I told y'all, it's them against us. It's the elite, the politician against us, the working class people, bro, out here in society. So you got to ask yourself, so you mean to tell me you're going to have motherfuckers that has families to provide for, children to take care of, jobs to work, and just going to take to the streets and ride and destroy private properties or individual all for a person that don't give a fuck about them, meaning Donald Trump? Let that shit sink in, bro. I'm telling you, I feel like this is going to be a major false flag for them to implement martial law. The government comes in and takes over and implement what they've been waiting to implement on society. 
I'm telling you, bro, they are basically saying if they lock Donald Trump up, 50 to 60 million American people is going to take to the streets and cause havoc, bro. Me personally, I don't see how a motherfucker can just risk their own freedom for somebody that don't give a fuck about them, bro. Meaning Donald Trump. The shit don't make sense. You see how they have us divided as a people, bro. They have us divided as far as race, religion, cultures, and now political views, meaning Republican against Democrat, when it's basically two different wings on the same bird when dealing with these motherfucking politicians, bro. I'm telling you. Tell me one thing by you voting. Now, what you do is what you do. That has changed your life. Tell me how has you voting affected your life? I ain't against what people do. That's their system. I haven't been a part of that system. I've never voted my entire life. And I've been in the military. I'm talking about I never went to the polls, bro. Because I understand this shit on a whole nother level. But you got to ask yourself. If they claim Donald Trump clip took classified documents to his home. And now they want to indict him and prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law. What about the 33,000 emails that Hillary Clinton deleted? What about Hunter Biden's laptop that they just have turned a blank eye to? I'm telling you, they fucking with Donald Trump, which it is a false flag and a distraction all in itself, but they are fucking with Donald Trump, wanting the people to take to the street so they can cause the civil unrest, so they can implement this martial law and get society on where they want to be as far as them pushing and implementing their agenda, bro. This shit is getting deeper and deeper by the day, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. And them coming after Donald Trump, a former president raiding his home, wouldn't even let his lawyers come onto the property to watch them do a thorough and right as far as search, staying in the statutes of limitation with dealing with the law, not breaking his constitutional rights and him being a former president says a lot, bro, how they just raided his fucking home and he wasn't even there, bro. I'm talking about sh shut off the security system, broke into a safe, raided his wife's lingerie collection. Just on a whole nother level, bro, y'all got to see the false flag. Y'all got to see beyond the smoke screen, bro. Donald Trump is down with them. Yeah, he helped the American people in a sense, but all because... They can't really pay him off and control him, but he's part of the agenda, too. You best believe that shit. He is part of the agenda. You got to think about what Donald Trump said in the speech. What did he say? Donald Trump said he's standing in the way of them getting to the people. He basically said they are not after me. They are after y'all, the people. But at the same time, you got to see they can't make it seem like it's them, the government against us. So they divide us dealing with the political parties, Democrat against Republican. Basically thinking like you have a voice and that your vote counts. Just think about this shit, man. Like they say, Biden got 80 million votes, bro. And now everybody that voted for Biden is feeling very motherfucking stupid because they can see beyond the veil now that Biden, that Biden is just a physical vessel there, but somebody else is calling the shots. How can we have him as the leader of the free world when he's turning around trying to shake hands with thin air? Nobody's there. He rides a bicycle and forgets to plant his feet on the ground to brace the bicycle, just falls over. He walks away from the podium and walks around through the bushes. Secret Service has to go get him to and redirect him a whole nother route. Just think about this shit now. Reporters asking him a question and he can't even give them the correct answer. His mind strays off the different topics, different subjects, putting together sentences that's not even full sentences, man. Just let this shit sink in, man. But this shit about Donald Trump, man, they basically saying that 50 to 60 million people is going to take to the streets and cause civil unrest, bro. And like I said, I sat back and thought about this last night. Like, what individual in their right mind would risk their freedoms? their livelihoods to go out there and destroy property, burn down places of business, cause havoc in the streets, even murders, just recklessness and lawlessness in the streets for somebody who's a billionaire that wouldn't even give you five motherfucking dollars if he seen you standing at a damn soup kitchen and hungry, bro. Just let that shit sink in. Because I'm telling y'all, y'all take to these streets. That's what they want y'all to do. I'm telling them ex-military. 
Y'all take y'all dumb asses out there in the street and call this civil unrest. Now, if you're going to protest, you're going to protest. But y'all should see by now, they've been protesting and picking in with signs for the last 50 and 60 years when they want to change, bro. And nothing never happens. Instead, these people are passing bills and laws right under y'all asses while y'all are out there walking all day and night with signs, screaming and hollering, going hoarse. All because y'all thinking what y'all out there doing matters. Man, they don't give a fuck about y'all protesting in the street. That's y'all out there because at the end of the day, they the motherfuckers that make the laws and passes the bills, bro. But I ain't going to make this video much longer, man. Y'all just remember to make sure y'all continue to like the videos. Shout out to the new subscribers once again. And like I said, this shit with Donald Trump, man, this shit is just the, the calm before the storm, bro. But when y'all go to seeing them UN tanks rolling around your cities, your ass can't come out the house and everything is implemented. The martial law is real in the fit. Y'all ain't going to say, damn, Blood Raw tried to tell us. Man, it's been your boy Blood Raw. Until next time, I'm out.